This is called, uh, uh, the title itself is uh, uh, extraordinary. Okay. Uh, it's called, the title in German is uh, Als Canada in Auschwitz Lag, uh, when Canada was in, was in Auschwitz, right? And I have plenty of German friends, uh, all South German, by the way, which makes some sort of difference, I think. But uh, they also, well, what the hell does that mean, you know? What does that mean? And then uh, you've got to read, uh, you know, the, the thing in English, which is over there too. That's the, uh, the English version of it. There's various volumes of that particular one with this number on it, 22040. Uh, but this is, the, uh, uh, this is the one that really is shocking in a way. What the hell is Canada doing? And, and you so, know the yeah, answer, so, and I know the answer, but yeah. nobody I knew there uh, knew it. And it's a crucial part of the book, right? So no, 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 there's a translation. Uh, well, it's Canada in, in uh, Auschwitz. Well, when Canada was where uh, Auschwitz was, yeah, that's where, uh, it, you know, and he doesn't explain it until you get in, you, you read it and you figure out, well, Canada is a name for the brigade of Jews, mostly, uh, who uh, survived the war because they were doing the stuff that the Nazis wanted them to do and let them do it for two years, right? Most of them did not get uh, uh, executed or anything, right? And uh, of course, he escapes. That's uh, quite amazing, too. But this is about how the Canada Brigade uh, was one. And it also is about, and I'm sure Rudy would agree, uh, the fact that he expected anybody who uh, had the possibility of surviving rather than sitting to a gas chamber to do almost anything to survive. He also had, uh, there were women there. Uh, well, you've read it, I suppose. I, I must admit, I, I don't know whether I read it in German or in English. But uh, the, the amount of uh, adventures that they had uh, while in a death camp was quite amazing, right? Yeah, there, there is stuff left out of the record. I can tell you another one. Not, not having to do with being at Auschwitz, but uh, I, I did a lot of work with Peter Weiss. Do you know who Peter Weiss is? He's a German, German, is he German? Uh, um, both novelist and essayist, and certainly a guy who should have won the big German prize and who never won it because uh, he was a Swedish citizen, even though he was a native German speaker and was born in Czechoslovakia. <coughs> but. But he uh, 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 pointed out to me that I should have known, actually. He has one, not, uh, one play which is extremely successful, and it's based on the Nuremberg Trials. Uh, I knew that. I knew I was supposed to know that this was a really important book, and it was, pub it was played all over the world. And Rudy said to me, yeah, 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 this is, you know, it's, it's really good. Uh, but you do realize that whole sections of it are taken from the Auschwitz Protocol, right? Because he used that as the basis for one of the most uh, the powerful of old German language things, which was written in German in Sweden.